Well, I hope things are going well for you. I want to have a little conversation with you, tell you about plans that we're making. But before I do that, all these broadcasts that we've been doing on live streaming, there are certain guys that have been working on this that have they've just done tremendous work, and I can't thank them enough. Uh, Brad Watkins has been assisting in it. Derek Childers has worked. Ken Epling has been very much involved in it. In fact, Ken is the one who is videoing me right now, and then we've done our Easter devotionals. He's the one that did all that. The pictures that you've seen in the chapel last week with the pretty colors, he did that. So Ken has really done a lot. And then the brainchild behind all this is Braden Ligon. And this is a young man, he's our IT guy, but he is just excellent in the work that he does and directing all this. So I cannot thank these men enough. We wouldn't have this live stream were it not for them. So you pray for them, thank them when you get to see them, but they've done excellent. Now, I want to talk to you about this. I know the governor has said we can go back on May the 3rd. Churches can open up. Well, we're not doing that at Meadowood. I've talked with leaders at our church. We want to wait till the latter part of May or the first part of June to do this. And the reason for it is this. We want to see how things go as they gradually open up. I'm glad they're starting to open things up here in our state. And we want to get people back to work. They're doing it in a slow way. So that's good. But we want to see if there's going to be a spike. We hope there won't be a spike in the coronavirus. We hope the, the levels will stay down and more and more people can get back to work. But we just want to wait and see how that goes. So that's one reason. The other reason we're wanting to wait is that for us to have worship here in the fellowship hall, uh, the way we had it set up previously before all this took place, we could get 550 people in here. We can't do that now. We, with the stipulations, we have to have people six feet apart we can get maybe 180, 190, possibly 200 in here. So we're feeling that we would need to do two services because we don't know how many people would come. Let's say, let's say 240 showed up and we could only see 190. Then we have to tell 40, 50 people, sorry, you can't come in. We don't want to do that. So we would have to have two services. And then in between the services after the first one, we would have to sanitize everything. So this is quite a task. So if we can wait until the first part of June, there is the possibility that we can go back in the worship center. And that would be ideal because then families could sit together and they could social distance from other families. So we're just kind of playing it by ear. We're praying about this, but the leadership I've talked to, and I've talked to many, and our staff, we're all in agreement that we should wait until either the last part of May or the first part of June. And uh, should things be delayed in the worship center, right now things are running smoothly, well, then we will work something out to come back into Fellowship Hall here. But we just covet your prayers in this. Uh, we're wanting to do the best we can to keep you safe. We're anxious to get back where we can be together. Oh, I miss seeing y'all. I know people miss each other. We miss being together, but we have to be safe at this time. So I hope things are going well for you. Please know we're praying for you. I hope you're praying for us. I know that you are. So you have a good day, and as time gets closer, we'll be talking to you again about what, what we'll be doing. So God bless you. Hope to see you soon.